Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone Today we will continue for new topic which is Frictional force or we call in Malay Daya Kesaran Objective for today Number one, to define frictional force Number two, to identify two surfaces that are in contact which cause frictional force And the last one, to observe the effects of frictional force Okay, let's we play carom now Have you ever played carom before? Okay, why the carom striker move? Carom striker move because the push applied by flicking the finger. Why does the carom striker stop moving? Hmm. The carom striker stop moving because of the frictional force between the carom striker and the surface of the carom board. So, what is frictional force? A frictional force is the force generated when two surfaces are in contact. Let's watch a video about friction. What is friction? Friction is the reason we are not constantly slipping and sliding on floors, roads and everywhere. Friction is the force that is created when two surfaces move or try to move across each other. The amount of friction produced during this process depends on the texture of both the surfaces and the amount of contact force that is pushing the two surfaces together. The force acts in the opposite direction to the way an object wants to slide. When you want to stop your bicycle, you press the brake and your bicycle slows down because of the friction created between the brakes and the wheels. Different solid objects experience different amount of frictions. An eraser on a glass top table will experience more friction than a coin which will experience more friction than an ice cube on the same table. Why do you slip and fall when the floor has just been mopped? This is because liquid creates a barrier between the ground and your shoes and makes the friction a lot less. It is because of less friction that you hear of many accidents during monsoons. Even though the friction of the brakes is still there, the brakes may be wet. And the wheels are not in as much contact with the ground because of the water. A frictional force occurs when two surfaces are in, are in contact. So I want all of you to identify the two surfaces that are in contact which cause frictional force. Okay, now look at the first picture. Okay, hand and cup. Okay, picture number two. The tire and the floor and the last one, what do you think? Pencil and book. As conclusion for frictional force, frictional force occurs when two surfaces are in contact. And frictional force opposes the directions of moving objects. So when the objects move forward, the frictional force will move backward. Flat surface has more frictional force than smooth surface. Okay, now I want all of you to try to wrap your hands. Okay, what do you feel? You will feel hot, can? So there is frictional force when two hands are in contact and it will produce frictional force. Thank you for watching my video. See you next class. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.